Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. And I am excited to play today. I've been looking forward to playing for a couple days now. I haven't been able to just sit down and do some uh, another session for a few days. So I'm excited to be here to be able to play around and have some fun with this. Um, got lots of good, good advice from everybody online. I appreciate that big time. Uh, one of the pieces of advice I just got, actually I was just reading it a second ago, is that the difference is here in the production outputs, and it makes sense. I, it's a little confusing, but it makes sense when you think about it, and when I saw it explained this way. Uh, the way the production is output over here, you have selling, which means it just sells to the, the, to the world. It sells to some arbitrary, somebody who buys it, whatever. Uh, the prices for this is a little bit still up in the air. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody's, there may be somebody who's figured out the exact percentage or what it, what it prices is at, but selling just means it automatically sells it out. Uh, I mean, I suppose if you had a massive farm and you just didn't really care, the, some price is better than no price. Maybe even on a lower difficulty level, it might make a difference. Selling might be a good good way to do it because you don't have to transport anything, anything like that. Uh, distributing, I'm sorry, um, uh, storing actually means that you're storing it in the pallets uh, to be able to sell as you're on your own. Uh, it'll store as much as it can in the, uh, I think in the production chain building itself. And then the rest just starts putting out pallets or maybe the other way around. Maybe it puts as much pallets out as it can and then it starts storing it in the, in the thing. But whatever the case is, storing means that we're saving it for ourselves to sell however we want to sell it. And then the last one is distributing. Distributing, presumably if I had like another, like the bakery and I wanted to set to distributing, it would distribute the flour to the bakery for me so I don't have to do the transportation and stuff like that, which is really cool. I do like that part a lot. Of course, we have only got the one production builder right now, but at some point we hope to have more. I'd like to do the cereal at some point. I might do the bakery too, because there's some similarities there that we can um, tap into, but I, I definitely grain products is what I'm hoping to do the most of. Uh, and so the cereal, uh, cereal would uh, obviously allow me to do some stuff with the bees. And then the um, bakery would allow me to do some stuff with the, uh, with honey and stuff like that. So one thing I am going to do real quick uh, is that I did add one more mod. I, I, I've been trying to keep the mods pretty down. Um, I wanted to keep it mostly Giants mods. I've got two mods that are not Giants. One is the Sleep Anywhere. Just That's my own just sanity, quite frankly. Um, if I ever get a house, I might change that one. Who knows? But the other one I just got is... It's not on here. I'm assuming it's in the construction. If I come over here to construction and go to... Is it production... Listed as a selling point? No. It is a new um, building. Or not really building, maybe it's not the right word. Just a new thing that we're going to... Since I can find it, I'll tell you, describe it better to you here in a second. And I don't know where they hit it. Um, maybe decorate... No, it's not here. Well, okay, the thing is supposed to be a silo that allows me to buy crops from anywhere and the reason i want that is i'm only going to use it for one thing and i'll show you what that is if i ever find this building but i do not seem to have it i may have not downloaded it properly if i didn't download it properly i'll figure it out later and i'll download it but there was a silo that you can buy basically any product on the map from uh, from this silo and i don't want to use it for anything else except for one thing and the one thing i want to use it for is raisins because um, my cousin in, uh, France, who are, for some reason, people think we're twins. I don't know. Um, maybe it's because we have the same name, but anyway, uh, they've been doing some grapes and said that they would start doing some raisins for us. And so I think we're going to try and, you know, he's going to distribute those raisins to the, uh, to the silo that I've got, wherever that is. There it is. Multi-fruit buying station. It's only 2,500 bucks to just get this plopped down somewhere. And we want to plop this down. And be able to use this for um, to picking up some 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 raisins because we don't want to have to build our own ra uh, do our own raisins and stuff. Just sounds just I don't know, not fun. We're already doing raisins on one map, um, or my cousin, I should say. Sorry, keeping with the, the, the theme. Um, so we figured we'd do some raisins ourselves here and allow us to just get whatever we want from this. I'm gonna stick it like maybe right up underneath this tree here, cause why not? Center is that uh, rotated properly? It looks like it's a little crooked. Gotta be perfect, because otherwise it's gonna bug me. I think that's pretty close to perfect. Okay, we're gonna stick this up underneath the tree here, wherever we can, out of the way a bit. 
But the only thing I'm allowed to buy from here is raisins for right now. I'm hoping I don't need to change that to anything else. And that's just because we're already making raisins somewhere. And I just want to make sure that we can have get raisins um, from this without having to go too much trouble. That, that'll at least unblock the cereal for us. If I can make raisinless cereal, trust me, I would. Because, as I have said many times before, I do not like raisins personally. But that's part of the game. So we'll just go with it. I want to see what it costs or like what it looks like over here. Start feeling. Uh, and make sure this actually does do raisins because it said, I thought it said it did, but I think it does literally everything. That's kind of funny. I'm sorry. I find this funny. I could, I could load up snow, which I guess makes sense. It's what it, <gasps> no, this is useless to us. There's no raisins. What? Uh, is it because, oh, it's not a product that goes into a trailer like this. And I bet, I wonder if it just can't do raisins at all because it's not the kind that goes into a trailer, which makes sense. Why would raisins go in the trailer? They're on a pallet. Um, well, shoot, I thought I was going to get us a little workaround for having to do raisins. I wish I could buy raisins from the store. Like I would, even if it costs a little bit more, I would totally buy raisins from the store. All right, I'll have to come up with another solution. No big deal. I mean, that only costs 2500 bucks. Not a big deal. And it may be something I'm missing. I, I might try. I wonder what, if I put like a flat pallet under it. No, I don't think that would work either. I'll look it up. I'll see if there's a way for us to get raisins at some point. The, it's interesting, though, because it says selling, right? It makes me feel like at some point they want you to be able to buy, rate, buy, buy things from other people, right? I mean, right now, the only thing it's selling is lime and gas. And I don't, why would they have that entire column just for those two items? Like those could have been separated completely out differently. So I feel like that at some point there might be a way to do that. Uh, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. All right. Were we in the middle of any contracts right now? We have three contracts actually. So let's go check out our equipment here. Um, you're over here. There's nothing there. Oh, you were driving out here to... Which field were you going to? I, I was going to field, I think, 48. And then I remembered after I'd cut off the stream or the, the video that field 48 is the one. Oh, no, it wasn't field 48. Which one was I going to over here? I was going to 64. And then I remembered 64 was the one that if I finish it, it finishes the contract and I lose the equipment. So what we want to do is we want to go to 48, uh, which is back over here by the house. So we're going to bring this guy back over onto this side of things. And... That way we can use the fertilizer over here. Uh, wrong button. Something like that. We'll get him over there. Um, we don't have our own fertilizer right now. Which we could get one at some point. And we will need to get one at some point. But we're not worried about it right now. We'll get that guy set up. Uh, this tractor can get stay right there. Honestly, I guess I could have driven this over myself. But I was wanting to get it rolling. So I could figure out what our next plan was. Let me check. What other contracts did we have after we finished these? We do have another bailing contract, which, I mean, obviously I would want to do. It's going to be good money for us. Yeah, let's finish up one of these uh, fertilizing contracts, and then we'll pick up the bailing from there, which I will go ahead and get my tractor over to the store, because we're going to need to pick up the any other kind of bailing type equipment that we can pick up. Oh, I should check the, uh, the used stuff. I'll get you going on auto, auto speed. Um, any used stuff that we haven't looked at before? No, just the harvester I would love to have. Hmm. Now we don't need any of that stuff. Harvester would be amazing, but just not, not worth it right now. Someday. Someday we'll get our own. And I'm bummed about that raisins thing. I mean, it makes sense. It's just got to spout out into a trailer. Why would it be spitting out raisins? That makes no sense. Still, when I read it, I thought I thought it would still do raisins. I'm sure somebody will add a way to do that at some point, and um, which is fine. Like I said, I'm not going to try and cheat in stuff like that very much, but I feel like the raisin thing, which just makes sense. I think, and in fact, I think it fits the story because why not? If I did have a cousin in France that was making a 
um, raisins, then I'm sure they would sell it to me for a discount. Because why not? We're family. All right, 48 is just to the left over here. And you got some weeds. Oof, real bad weeds. All right, here's 48. This one's an awkwardly shaped field. Well, we'll get it set up as best as we can. Actually, we can just do this and knock this one out ourselves real quick. Shouldn't take long. And that'll free up the uh, slot for the, uh, the bailing. Hopefully we have enough fertilizer for these last three fields. I think we will. They're not super big. Excuse me as I drive through your crop. Don't mind me. That was easy. We will collect that one. We will go ahead and borrow items for this one. Let me get you driving over to 53 now. Just close. Very close. I, what am I saying? I don't even need to drive over. Get you to drive over there. I'm pretty sure I can make that one myself. Oh, these fields both have the same crop on them. It's interesting. Actually, it looks interesting except the fact that I would prefer not to have the divide in the middle. Just join them up if you're going to do the same crop. I'm assuming they're owned by two different people. All right. We'll uh, get you set up over here. And go, Mr. Worker, go. So we can get you going. All right. So here's the big... This is probably the bigger of the tractors, right? Presumably. So this is going to be the one we would definitely want to use with the baler. So... Oh, I guess you can take the mower as well. So we'll give you a mower. And you can start the mowing. Then the next two tractors can bring the wind rower and the um, uh, tether. I can actually line up and connect you properly. All right, let's get you over here. Get you to... Uh, let me get on this side of things. I'm going to get stuck on that car. Build 17, I believe, is in the exact same place as the last one we just did uh, in the last episode. Right up here. Looks good. Go, go. It's actually about the same size, I think, once it's all said and done. Once you take off the little bitty funny bits. Um, I don't think it really matters who does what here, so whatever. You just take the... No, we're going to do it this way, because this is important. Uh, since you're a red tractor, you've got to take the red piece of equipment, and the green tractor has to take the green piece of equipment. That's just... I mean, I think that's normal, right? I mean, that's how that has to work. We are going to pick up the front things this time. Last time I forgot to grab them and cost myself an extra trip. So we're going to grab them this time. Just so they're already up there. And then uh, save us one trip at least. Once we get done mowing, we can come back and pick up the baler and then we'll be ready to go. All right. Good stuff. Really nice to be able to multitask like this. All right. You are going to here. There. There you go. I was like, give it a second. He's going to go. How much more you got? Oh, there we go. That answers that question. Um, I'll come back to you in one second. Let me get this other guy going real quick, and then we'll come back and finish that field up, and then we can go turn in the, do the last field and be done. Got to grab the front bit first. And my tractors are getting dirty. You get a washer just to wash these things off. They're so dirty. This one's going to need some repairs. Not too much longer. Honestly, probably pretty soon. Because we're getting close to that 50% mark. And I don't want to go much below that for sure. It's a pretty big tether for such a small field. Or sorry, wind rower. For such a small field. All right, um, come up to here. Um, why did that not work? Hit the wrong button. Set the next station. There we go. 
Yep. Yeah. All right, you're good. Uh, you're good. You can start going over to here. Last field is 60, was it 64? Can you make it there without any trouble? No. All right, we'll figure it out in a minute. Let's get you started mowing. Although I have a feeling you're going to have some trouble mowing with the shape of this field. I think that'll swing around properly. Uh, might be missing a tiny bit. We can get that later. Um, really? Really, dude? Really? You don't know how to drive straight? <sighs> I gotta get you out to the road, I guess. Um... Probably go out this way. This tractor hall is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, okay, this looks good. Now you should be able to make it down here, I think, I hope. Oh. Let's just turn on the fertilizer. You're not using any fertilizer, so I think we're okay, but you did definitely just turn it on. Weird. Whatever. Alright, you're still making your way up here. Let's get you off to the side so you're out of the way. And then, actually, I need to grab you. Cancel the mowing for a second, because I want to get this bit over here. Just so it's done. And we can windrow, or uh, Ted first. So, turn on, lower. You over here, line you up, and hopefully you can mow just fine. All right, should be good. All right, so uh, you are where we want you to be. Let's get you off the road. You are good. You're still driving and thinking you're fertilizing the road for whatever reason. Uh, which one is it actually? Is it 64? It is 64. All right, we can turn this one in. Collect some money from that. Good stuff there. There's nothing else, though. Uh, uh, yeah, the spraying's not good enough. We're not going to take the spraying. If there are other sprayings, I might bother, but it's just not worth it. Um, we can probably go ahead and get the uh, tedding started. I'm actually going to put the front forks down over here. Just so they're out of the way. I'm actually going to Ted pretty fast. This is actually... Why is this so wide? We do not need this wide for this tiny little field. I mean, we'll take it, but... He's going to need like three swipes and he's done. Interestingly enough, the mower is going to be the slow part of this operation. All right, I have a feeling this mower guy is going to have some issues. I'm going to do some of this myself, I think. the shape of the fields messing with him a bit. I 
Take us but a minute to knock this out anyway. Oh, assuming I can drive in a straight line. Which apparently I cannot. Don't mind me. I'm just being <laughs> really bad at mowing. I don't like this little contraption on the side. It throws me off a bit. All right, good enough. That'll work. Let's drop these off over here. All right, detach. And then detach. There we go. Now we can go back and get the baler, and we're good to rock and roll. Baylor, back at the store. Drop you off right about here. And that'll work. And then you should be here. Yes, you are. Knock out 30 or 64 real quick. I'm wondering, I'm assuming we could probably just do one pass here. How tiny this field is. You're good, you're good. You are ready to roll up here. Still think this thing is way massive for what we're doing. I mean, it's not the biggest wind rower that we've seen, obviously, but it is huge for this little field. I should have dropped off the front fork, but I'll be alright. Alright, whatever, just you should be fine, worker. I like how he unfolds the front to start working. It doesn't make any sense. Or does it? Wait a minute. What's he doing? Why did you do that, my friend? There you go. This thing makes a nice pile with the, the double uh, blades like that. All right. That should be all we need for this. Fold you up. Connect you over here in the corner. All right, well, we're good to go as soon as we get the baler back over here. Get you off. Uh, actually, you can go ahead and head back to home or back to the store probably as well. Can I get you to park? One of these roads dips in here, right? Can I get you to park right here? Like off to the side. We'll see if that works. Uh, did you finish your contract? You did. Uh, if I turn it in right now, I'd get 841 reimbursement. I mean, it might be worth it, but we'll just drive you back home and just drop off the rest, of, or drive you back to the store, I guess. And drop off the rest of this. That wrong spot. Right <laughs> here, I was just sitting there looking at it. Um, just, whatever. Just off over this way. Block a little traffic. Who cares about that? All right, you're blocking traffic right now. Let's go get the baler. Definitely keeps me busy. As soon as I get one set up, it's time to switch over to the other one. Or what? What tells it to get one baler over another? I guess is why couldn't why didn't they just give me the same baler I had last time? Uh, is this one square bells? It's round bells, isn't it? I think it is. All right, you're going up there. Uh, you're almost done. You're still driving. You're still driving. All right, well, let's check on it on this guy because he's almost done. Looks like two more passes, maybe. I mean, I, I'm going to assume we're going to get, like, three bells off of this again, like we did last time. We might get a fourth. 
This field might be slightly bigger than 16. It's not, I think it is just a little bit, but it's, it's not much. So I think we'll get, we'll finish off that fourth veil and that's about it. All right, let's get rid of you get you parked over here. Where are you available for whatever we need next? All right, you're good. You're still driving. You're still driving. We can take over this driving. Her car behind me. Are going to end up with more than four? I don't think so. We'll see. Almost got one off that first pass. Alright, let's get the wind rower guy back home. You can drop your forks off over here as well. Just wherever, doesn't really matter. And actually, you can drop this thing off back here because it's just going to self turn in. Out of the way and we'll get you driving home well to the store and you're ready the contract in decent amount of money already collected and we're you know a big chunk of the way through this one already not bad I missed a section. Start driving too fast. We'll pick it up in a minute. Yeah, definitely going to get four bales. Much more than that, I, I would be surprised. Stay, Bill. Don't don't roll off, please. I don't need to be chasing bales across the map. We'll go ahead and pick up the rest here that we can get because um, we do get a little bit of reimbursement. And um, that'll be that.
ready to start transporting you back to or over to the uh, to the drop off. I mean, we're not too far off from a fifth bail, but yeah, this feels just not quite there. That's okay. I didn't want to make two trips anyway. All right, we'll drop you off here. Uh, actually, we'll just bring you off to the side over here. Pick up the forks and we'll go turn in the, the uh, con contract. Uh, we're going to put a cut in there, though. When we come back, we'll finish this contract up. I think this is all the contracts we have for today, though, uh, which does mean we can go ahead and fast forward to harvest time in the next episode because we should be done with all the contracts. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.